most metal heads across the globe. This is Jaime and Fuego for Heavy Metal Television, and we are joined by a group today that, uh, well, I, I guess they got a little, little bit of association with my moniker, at least. I got lads here from uh, Itinho. How's it hey, going, brother? Fuego. Gonda. That's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a metal name of How'd sorts. How'd you get your name? Oh, well, that's the thing, man. Most people, they see a gringo, and they're like, gringo, Jaime and Fuego, what the hell is going on here, okay. man? But uh, that's actually a good way to segue into my first question with you. So okay. you think Jersey, man. People probably don't think of Latin inflected metal, just this awesome melting pot of influences you guys got going on. What, what sparked that flame, Fuego, flame? I, at the time, well, you know, the part of, you know, I'm actually from New York City, born and okay. raised, and I, so and I, moved Jersey to, was just... I, I moved to a town in Jersey called Hoboken, okay. which was, you know, five minutes from downtown New York, mm -hmm. and Dave, my buddy, you know, at the time, we, you know, we were hanging out all the time, but we know each other since we were teenagers, yeah. but uh, he wanted to put this project together and just wild up. It was more like hardcore back then, right? As well, originally like it started as a hardcore Latino thing. And okay. then it went, turned into El Nino where the percussion was introduced, samples, guitar, another an additional guitar player. So it was getting up all, you know, all the Latino players from the neighborhoods. Because technically where we're at, there is still a lot of immigrants, particularly, yeah. you know, Caribbeans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, yeah. and then, you know, some South Americans, Brazilians. Peruvians out there. I said Peruvian. Which is where your singer is from, right? Originally Brazil, right? He was born in Brazil. And uh, Venezuela. And then raised and, in Venezuela. Yeah. His mother's from Uruguay. Cool. And um, and it was, a, it was a project that I, you know, I thought it was a cool thing to be a part of. It was all being created in my studio, so I saw it come to life before I even became an actual member of the band. Got to envision it. Yeah. No, well, I, you know, I was putting these demos together. Dave was coming to my studio in the middle of the night. Because that's the time I, I said it was all right. Because, you know, I would do sessions through the, after I got out of work. Because yeah. I used to have a job. Yeah, day. the day job. Ah, the rigors of it. Life <laughs> has changed. For the better. <laughs> for damn the, right. For the damn better. Yeah. Now it's music 24-7. Okay. You know, I also have a studio business back home. Yeah, because you, you engineered the new record, right? Um, we all did. Everybody yeah. had Kinda played a part in it. But it, it was a project. And demos were put together. Um, they were just they were being submitted to College Radio, a really popular station at the time. Still is, but it was very influential in a big heavy metal scene that was happening in that tri-state area called WSOU Pirate Radio. Nice. And uh, it started with one song, and it got on heavy rotation. And another song was added, and also that moved up to heavy. Next thing you know, we had three songs on heavy rotation. That's what's up. Uh, on, and we had never even put anything out. And that was even before the EP, right? That was way. That was before yeah. the EP. Okay. So, first show El Nino played in New Jersey. You know, I, there was over seven hundred kids. So, you know, starting it right, man. <laughs> which I tell you, you knew you were a part of something real special because I thought it was going to be like a neighborhood thing. You mm -hmm. know, a few shows locally, and uh, three shows in, you know, the band, you know, got signed, and you know, we signed to Roadrunner at the time, and they allowed us. To put out our EP, yeah. So you know, in the process, you know, we put that out, and, and you know, it's all starting to grow from there, right? Yeah, you no, know, that's when you know you began to your life to change. You know, you're doing an in store. I've never done an in store before for a demo, mm -hmm. and there's you know 300 kids outside online to buy it, and so you can sign it or photograph with them. So you know, from that point on, it's been. It's been an adventure. Yeah. You know? I was going to say, talk about dealing with heat. You're about to head out on, well, you have lots of experience going all the way back to OzFest when there were like five different metal festivals going every single summer. It's dwindled a little bit. We still got Mayhem Fest. That's probably the top dog at the moment, and you're going to be on it this summer. So this Civil Unrest Tour is kind of almost a warm-up for that, right? No, no. Actually, no? we were on it last summer. Mm. Sorry about that. But this summer, we're heading out to Europe oh, okay. to play... You know, some of the biggest festivals in the world are doing okay. whacking out mm -hmm. there and uh, a bunch of others around Europe. It's your it's, uh, festival season out there. Damn. And so, uh, you know, so we may not be rocking in America, but we're rocking in the oh, world. The, man. Those are huge over there, man. I mean, I've, I've just seen some of the footage alone, just the crowd interaction. That I mean, Europe is metal, man. They love that stuff over there, right? They absolutely adore it. Europe is a little different from America. America, they love you, and then... 
you know, they move on to the next thing. And that's they, fat, man. And yeah. then you might come back around to them. They get a little older, you know, they, you know, you're still in their hearts. Yeah. So they come back. But in Europe, they stay with you throughout the entire Much more time. dedicated, huh? Yeah. Craziness, right? But we don't mind, you know, come back to us. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's all the, good. The music is still there. We so. embrace everyone yeah. every time. And the music still being there is a good segue into uh, Till Death La Familia, the record that came out uh, a year ago, 2014, in the summer, in July. I was just watching the clip where you've got the young kids uh, engaged in some violence and, you know, trying to do some robbery business and stuff like that. And it's a, it's for a track called I'm Not the Enemy. And uh, what was the message behind that when, uh, you know, Vocalist was kind of... I, I don't think that the, the, you know, the video actually... Kind of it's a proper yeah, representation of the lyrics. Well, no, it's not. It really isn't. But um, and, and listen, it came out cute. The video, you yeah, know? wanted a little bit more rugged. It was compelling, and it had, it was story driven compared to the first one, which is performance driven. You're out in like the the mud flats and stuff. Right, 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 right. Yeah. right. No, I mean, uh, you know, I guess what we were trying to convey is, you know, this, you know, pe- you know, it happens all over. You know, kids. Yeah rebel and uh some do it through music some through crazier stuff right <laughs> yeah I, I, I think it's a reflection of like being stuck in poverty though true you know where do you where do you go you know if you're not getting the education um how do you, you elevate know, your situation by you know, your if, own means if you don't right? have a baby father around because he's locked up yeah you know these are like you know serious shit that's going on and uh you know, I, I think that's what we were trying to portray in the song. Yeah. You know, the, you know, the, just the path of, of trying to, to, to break out of that becomes very difficult. Yeah. And so, you know, it's kind of getting trapped in a jungle. And, you know, and, and uh, it's cyclical too, man. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, is it? It's not getting any weather, any better. But I, I think that there's more awareness of it now, and uh, and we're moving forward into correcting the problem. Um, you know, interesting things. I, listen, the world is changing right before our eyes. Rapidly, you know? too. <laughs> As it should, though, because we got, we should have been there already. You know, I think we went, like, about, after we knew better, maybe 50, the last 50 years, we began to know a little better with the evolution of science. A little bit. We're all still a work in progress. Though, right? I mean, humanity in listen, general man, is a work in progress. Fire, and that's all that matters. Damn right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're actually going to jump right into a video from these cats. Now, the first one that I remember was How Can I Live from, uh, you know, Freddy vs. Jason soundtrack. I'd say that that really put you guys, bam, on the map, even though Revolution, Revolution had already, you know, put the imprint down. I'd say there's lots of people who remember that soundtrack, remember that film, and, you know, oh, yeah, thinking know. about dreaming about you, and you got Freddy Claus and I all that craziness. Every man. Halloween, you know, you get to catch yourself on, uh, on, the, uh, on the titles and the yeah. scene in the movie. So, you know, I, I hope that that those You're like, we still forever. get residuals on that, man. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I, I think the the reward of listening to yourself on TV is a little bit bigger than the money you make from it. Truth be told, man. You know, leaving your imprint. Yes. I mean, if we were making a hell of a lot of money, maybe I'd say yeah. it's different. Uh, it's a- <laughs> In comparison, the... The reward of hearing it every Halloween. Is Music as a project of passion, man. You know, I mean, that's where it's at. So. Oh yeah, yeah cannot right. imagine life without it. Neither can I. We're lifers, man. We've been at it for years, you know, and uh, so we survive. It's creeping on twenty now, right? At this point. No, no, man. Don't, you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> man. We're creeping on fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, you know. We're going to jump into that music video now that I mentioned. We're going to creep closer to 20 as the years go by. Stick with El Nino, man. They got so much racist music. uh, And uh, I love that uh, album cover, by the way, with the whole Scarface thing going down. Thank you, brother. Pretty righteous, man. Got to say. So I extend a good gracias here to Laz for speaking to me in Heavy Metal Television. We're going to do a man shake right there, brother. No doubt, brother. Damn right. And uh, we will see all of you in cyberspace soon. Headbanging with us. So adios and stay metal. Peace.